eight to ten acres that would create as many jobs and generate the kind of revenue we are projecting. My words, non-residents speak only because they've done such an excellent job of presenting their case already with their advertisement, their flyers, anyone who isn't asleep knows everything about it. In all fairness, I must say I don't want to hear my favorite representative in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts because I don't think it would be fair to allow him to speak and then not allow every other visitor to speak. We have enough voters here to speak. We don't need outsiders to speak. This is a vote for Toast Street, by Toast Street. We don't yeah. need outsiders. I am only interested and impressed by the voters in Tuxcarry, by the hundreds who have told me in the last several weeks they don't want slot parlors in the town of Tuxbury. I am not impressed when a paper in an adjoining city and a columnist makes fun of the Tuxbury residents and say it's nothing but a knee-jerk reaction when they give legitimate reasons why they don't want the slot piles. I recognize it's every right of everyone to disagree with them, but you cannot make fun of a resident's opinion that he believes. I believe that the residents of Tuxbury know better what's for the town than a columnist who's making fun of them. It is not a perfect world. I don't expect to make it perfect, but I'll depend on the judgment of the residents what's best for Tuxbury over anyone.